Welcome back. In today's video, I will do a review on the Kibum switches. By the way, thanks for Kibum for sending these switches over for me to review. Like in the previous video of the Kibum Phantom 81 review, I did mention they sent me over some of their switches to review, right? So here is the box of the switches. Before we unbox it, they do send me two types of their switches from their lineup, tactile and linear. Without further ado, let's unbox it. Anyway, the box design is kinda simple and I wish the color of the box match the color of the switches. So, for the first one we have here is the Kibum Tavo Cream Milk. And on the next one is the Kibum Matcha Latte. Both switches cost around $16 or 69 Malaysian Ringgit for only one box consists of 35 switches in it. Let's review them shall we. For the Tavo Cream Milk, I really like the color of it and it's so cute to my eyes. And for the matcha latte reminds me of the matcha tea to be honest. And let me tell you, I'm not a fan of green color but this catches my attention. Both of these are 5 pin switches for the materials of the stems, both using the same palm materials on the stems and nylon and PC or polycarbonate you might say for the housing. On their website though, they do stated that the stem is a self lubricating palm stem, kinda reminds me of the NK creams. Anyway, for the Taro Cream Milk is a tactile switch. Meanwhile, the matcha latte is a linear switch. And oh yeah, I forgot to mention that um, both of these switches are completely stock out of the box. For the Tower Cream Milk, it has a 54 gram of actuation force and 62 gram of bottoming force. And for the stem, I'm sure that it is a long pole stem or should I say a long PP stem. Man, I love the long PP supremacy. What I mean is um, the switch stems, not the actual PP. I mean the PP on the, um, you, you know, you know it, right? So yeah. Talking about the stem, you can feel the bump once you press it, just by a little bit. Now I'm gonna compare it with 5 of my best tactile switches. And don't be surprised why there is a Cherry MX Brown there, it's all about preference. So here we have the Gathering Azure Dragon, the Evil Airy, Cherry MX Brown, Moyu Black, Tixi Purple Panda, and the Kibum Tavo Cream Milk. All of these have the long PP except for the MX Brown. And between all of this, I rated every one of it to my best choice of tactility and my likings. Now for the Kibu Matcha Latte. It has a 55 gram of actuation force and 62 gram of bordering force. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the long PP stems. So I'm going to compare it with my 5 of my best linear switches. Here we have the KTT Jarakandas, Gadron CJ Palm, KTT Rose, Aulap Tungsten, Moyu Poseidon and the Kibum Matcha Latte itself. All of these have for the long PP except for the KTT Rose and the Kibu Matcha Latte. I know, I know, I might be a little bit biased here because the Moyu Poseidon is my number one favorite switch and I'm currently using it on my Tofu 60. But I must be more neutral here. So here is the rating for the best linear choice. So next we have to loop both of the switches and listen to the sound test of the stocks versus loop.
So, I can conclude that the Tavo cream milk has a good tactility to it. It's not that heavy nor too light. It's in the middle and I really like it. And for the matcha latte though, it is really smooth when it is lubed. When stock, it is a bit scratchy to my ears and yeah, you have to lube it. Both switches when stock tend to sound a bit clacky on my Topo 60. But for the loop matcha latte, it sounded a bit talky and so does the loop Tavo cream milk. And to be honest, I kinda into talky nowadays, but we'll see about that soon, I guess. Now, I could say that both of the switches are really bang for your bucks. It is really worth it for you to try. Both of the Tavo and the matcha are a little bit pingy when stock, so I do recommend you guys to loop it. I think that's it, it's a very very simple review of the switches by Kibum and yeah I think that's it. Anyway if you guys are interested in buying these switches, just go to the link of the description below and buy it right now. So I think that's it for me and see you guys in the next video with more keyboards review or maybe a building or an upgrade of a keyboard so just stay tuned. Thanks for watching, peace.